Welcome to the Stephen Housen Football Channel. This is where I will take you through everything that I do revolving around football, be it that at Old Trafford or elsewhere. This is where you will get your match previews, your reviews, your football vlogs, your scout reports, your transfer talk, your youth reviews, your documentaries and anything and everything revolving around football. I absolutely love this game. Do me a favour and subscribe. Thank you for watching. United have a long tradition of bringing through youth, 80 years unbroken, in fact. But we've also a great tradition of signing young talent that show promise and make them into world-class footballers. Here's five wonder kids that United could bring in and turn into world-class players. Number five, Ryan Sessegnon. While it seems nobody's going to be able to convince Ryan Sessegnon to leave his boiled club this summer, he should be a long-term target for Manchester United, which I've been told he is. If the English wonder kid continues to impress after stepping up into the Premier League, he will become one of the most valuable prospects on the planet. He's a remarkable talent, one at United should continue to look to prize out of London at any given opportunity. And I say this without even pinning down a position for him. He's a left back, a wing back, a left winger, and he's destined for the top. I would love him here at United. Number four, Michael Cousins, another promising player currently playing his trade in the Bundesliga. Michael Cousins is capable of playing on the right wing, but looks most comfortable playing in central midfield. Cousins is extremely composed on the ball and has forced his way into Borussia Mönchengladbach's first team at just 18. There's a real resemblance of early Pogba in Cousins' game. He likes to drive with the ball through the middle. He's got the vision and the range to be able to hit a pass. He takes the Gladbach free kicks and has a real element of flair to his play too. He's clearly still learning the game and where he's most effective in it, but he has all the makings of a genuine world-class talent. In at number three is Nico Morrow, the latest talent to come through Dynamo Zagreb's famed youth system. Nico Morrow has already built up an impressive highlight reel of banging goals. No, I am serious. When you finish watching this, go, go do a bit of YouTube scouting and check out some of Morrow's goals. He loves a long-range effort. More importantly, though, He's a complete central midfielder, as you're likely to see in youth football. He's mobile, press-resistant midfielder, who's equally comfortable dictating play from a number six position as he is playing off the striker. He's got the speed and the technical ability to drift wide and take people on, and seems to have an aggressive winner's mentality that could make him a real asset. Number two, Amaro Mbolo. Mbolo has been continually linked to Manchester United over the past 12 months, and there's likely to be some truth in the link, given that he's not exactly the name that's going to sell newspapers. Mbalo is a player that I've been fortunate enough to see live on a couple of occasions for Benfica and for Portugal. He's truly two-footed and capable of playing on either flank or down the middle. He's already scored 17 goals for Portugal's under-17s and helped Benfica's under-19s to an impressive league win. But he's still 17 and should be seriously considered as a long-term target for United's lack of quality on that right wing. But number one on our list is... Deo Upamecano. You could argue that RB Leipzig's Upamecano is the best teenage defender in the world. The 19-year-old started 25 Bundesliga games last season and boasts some pretty incredible numbers too. He won more aerial duels and tackles than any other teenager in world football. Given his established first-team status in a league that is known for developing young players, United might struggle to prize him out of Leipzig. However, they should look to do so at any cost. Upamecano will be among the leading centre-backs in world football by the time he reaches his mid-20s. We are struggling giving our own players around this age group the game time that they arguably deserve. A young gun like Deo with the experience he's already got could be a great long-term asset. That is it for my five wonder kids that I think Manchester United should look to go and sign and to add to this squad. I'm not saying that they're going to come in and start. I just think this is five wonder kids that are going to be huge in world football in years to come. And I would love to see some of those played at Manchester United. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Which wonder kids would you like to see us sign? And... Get in your suggestions for the next top five that you would like to see. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.